Hi guys, me. Believe it or not, January the 2nd, 2016, 17, 17, Monday at 7.40 something, 7.41 a.m. Central Standard Time. <clears throat> 49, better be top up degrees. Kind of cool out there today. But it's supposed to warm up to 74 today. And the rest of the week, about the same. It'll get a little cooler, not much. But anyway, it is 2017, and I'm in Central Texas, USA, at my home base in my 26-foot Jayco J-Flight RV that I full-time I live in. I full-time RV'd for 20-plus years, and now I go camping in my car, my Toyota Prius. So for you new subscribers... <clears throat> If you're interested in RVing or going camping in your car, check out my playlist on my home page. Just find the word playlist, click on it, and pick the ones you want to watch because there's a lot of tips there. There's a lot of stuff I learned the hard way. And anyway, I was looking down my comments. Got a lot of them related to health care and stuff because I did something on that <clears throat> recently. Be sure and do that health care directive. For those of you that don't, uh, know what that is, check it out. A, a healthcare directive is where you point an agent so that if you can't communicate with the doctor or your family uh, for some reason, stroke or whatever, then this medical directive kind of kicks in and your agent uh, handles your wishes. Go to caringinfo.org. Caringinfo.org. C A R I N G I N F O.org and get your medical directive for your state. But that is not the topic for the day. The topic for the day is just going to be a brief video on... <clears throat> I did a video a few weeks ago or whenever it was related to RV theft and how to protect, protect your RV or your van or car or whatever. <clears throat> I do that a lot as I get older. I don't know why. It's just natural, I guess. Hell, I don't care. But anyway... Uh, Anyway, I did, a, uh, I did an RV about a video. <laughs> cut, cut. I did a video about RV theft and how to protect your RVs from getting broken into and so forth. And anyway, I got a response from a guy or an individual that says, Hi, I am an installer of alarms for vehicles. Now we get an expert, right? How about that? So I'm going to update you on what this guy says. He says some of the higher end systems even have a battery backup, which is good. He says you're right, putting in lots of lights and bells and whistles that are a di that are different than the norm. In other words, because they do make an ear piercing whistle. Years ago, we even put in a ringing bell under the under a hood of one car. These are good. These ideas are good. Are a good deterrent. Plus, some systems will even call you if you have phone monitoring. And I like that one because if you're RVing and you're out hiking, and uh, somebody's fooling around with your RV, your van, or the car you're camping in, you get a phone call. So you can at least go back and maybe get their license number. Now, you know, I don't know if you want to jump right in there and start. Getting with them depends on who you are, but if you get their license number, that's a big help. But anyway, so da, 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 have the phone monitoring. Uh, and, and he says, he names two companies here. It says, <clears throat> it says C, S E E C, CompuStar Drone, CompuStar, C O M P U S T A R D R O N E, CompuStar Drone, R Directed Smart Start. Says they even had some ear piercing sirens for inside that are very small. There is no way you could ignore it. I suppose you could use a home system brain. They ultimately run on 12 volt anyway. So, for you guys that full time RV and go camping in your vans or cars or whatever, uh, you know, I mean, I know that sometimes when I'm out camping in my Prius, I never did, I don't even think, I don't even think I thought about it when I was in my old going pulling my trailer uh, maybe I did 
but uh, in my car, I do think about it sometimes because I wander off over hills and you know walk for a few miles every day. And uh, you know when the car is out of sight, I'm wondering. And so you know I might just put a little whistle or something on mine just to uh, as a deterrent. That's all I really want is a deterrent. And uh, so anyway, little heads up on the on the uh, security systems. And this I'm just going to throw in for gratis. <laughs> it's not related to security system, but it is a cute quote and I like it. Uh, it says, and this is about the healthcare industry. I thought it was a good one. And you know, I hate to do, you know, when you do a video, I guess you, know, you need to kind of try to stick to one topic. Uh, I don't. I mean, I mean, I do try, but I never do it. I always start just rambling and end up with about 12 topics in one video so that's the way it is okay that's just the way it is so anyway here's one this is about the health care costs and so forth this guy says the polio industry became the example of what not to do to remain viable don't cure it <laughs> if you don't cure it, it they, you know they cured polio they eliminated it and uh it, and it ended the profit, profitability of that particular illness. And now, uh, they're not trying to cure cancer and some of these other things, I don't think. I, I think it's kind of like <clears throat> in Texas, we have a little insect fire ants. And, uh, and, and there's a lot of them. I don't think they get too far north, but where I am, there's a few, not many. The, far the, the closer you get to the, the Gulf Coast, uh, of, of the USA, that's where they are because they like that moist ground and, and you get more rain along the Gulf Coast, so that, that allows for that. But the fire ant, they've been coming up with all kinds of things to quote, kill it. The fire ants are just as bad now as they were years ago. You know, if I was a, there's a name of a company that, that makes chemicals to kill fire ants called Green Light Company. You think they really want to kill fire ants? No, I wouldn't. Come on, if you're if you're making hundreds of millions of dollars off of an ant because people are going and buying your chemical to kill it, you might want to make it sick, make it look like you did something, but you don't damn sure don't want to eliminate it. Uh uh, uh uh, I guarantee you. But anyway, having said that, guys, this will be a short video. I got to go do my walking. It sun's coming up now, and it's it's above fifty, and there's no wind. We had a little norther come through last night, and I mean it came rolling through, but it wasn't much. <clears throat> Just a lot of wind. Got some rain, thank goodness, because we have a thing up here called cedar, and Western U.S. calls them juniper. We call them cedar. It's the same family of trees, but they put off a pollen in December and January in this part of the of Texas, and uh, that cedar pollen can make your eyes itch, your nose run, your throat scratchy. I mean, it just is a uh, hell. If you if you're allergic to it or you have an allergic reaction to it, uh, I mean, it bothers me. It makes my eyes itch. <clears throat> But I try not to take in any antihistamines. I, ever, I mean, every now and then I will if it's really bad, but but only then. But anyway, the rain, got a little rain last night, and that cleaned it out pretty good. So this morning I walked out on the patio for a minute. Ah, oh, fresh, fresh, fresh. But anyway, guys, having said that, it's still a new year. We're the second day. Doon, 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 doon. All you guys with your New Year's revolutions. Remember what you wrote down. I mean, I realize it's been two days, so you can already you can start skipping your your res, revolution now. Is it a resolution or a revolution? It's a revolution because you're going to revolt and make it, it everything different. <clears throat> but anyway, having said all those interesting words of nothing, uh, do your revolution. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Whatever you resolve or revolve to do, do it. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy USA made when you can. Drink plenty of water. Take deep breaths. Breathe in through your 
nose and out through your mouth. Do that several times a day. It does relieve stress. It really is, and it's something you can do real easy. Eat less. Eat less. For those of you that revolved or set down a resolution to lose weight, eat less. You can't exercise enough. No. Exercise will help you stay healthy, but it doesn't make you lose much weight. Nope, nope, unless you do it for hours and you're not, you don't have time and you're not going to do it anyway. So, eat less. Push yourself away from that table and just eat a, you know, a small serving. Just cut, eat less. Anyway, adios amigos. Bye-bye.